Hello everyone and welcome back. I am currently trying a new setup because this computer is a little bit slow. My current computer is getting fixed again. I haven't been able to stream in a while, but I'm happy to be back to bring this to you guys. So today we're going to be playing Caves and Cliffs. In a second, the black screen you see in the middle should be replaced with my Minecraft screen. Uh, this is powered by Restream. I'm in a Restream Live studio. In the future, I hope to be able to bring something where I can play with fans, and I'm currently working on setting up <coughs> a more permanent-based server, both for normal survival Minecraft as well as possibly a snapshot server for people to enjoy. At the moment, I will be playing in a single-player world. However, this is a stream to kick off what I hope will be a video series if my computer cooperates. Now, uh, without further ado, uh, give me just one second. I will bring up my uh, Minecraft screen. Uh, it's a brand new world. I haven't even loaded it in yet, so we're going to load it in for the first time on screen. All right, so... All right, so you can see chat on the left, um, and depending upon how you guys feel, I can turn that on and off. So you let me know in chat whether you want to see chat on the side or if you want me to turn it off so my Minecraft screen gets a little bit bigger. But let me go ahead and minimize that and open up this, and we will create the new world right now. Um, All right, so I'm getting no chat. All right, let's take off chat then. So Minecraft is going to load the world. And while that loads, let's go ahead and make chat disappear. All right, there we go. So no more chat. And here's Minecraft. All right. So, <clears throat> here we go. There you go. Minecraft is like full screen now, and I'm in the bottom, which is awesome. So, I'm using Restream Live Studio for the first time today. I've been participant in Restream Live Studio before with uh, some friends and other people who I stream with. However, I have never used it for myself. Um, but it appears to be a little bit nicer on my computer, my current laptop that I'm streaming off of than running through Streamlabs and OBS does. So, sorry, I just totally demolished my mic trying to adjust it. Uh, I think for now, at least, I'm going to be using Live Studio to try and um, do this. All right, so we're 90% loaded in. This is taking longer than I thought. Here we go, 100. Um, okay, let's see what we've got. So lag is the first thing we have, at least on my end, but that seems to be go okay, that's a little buggy. Um there's plants, but it's in a gra grass block, what? Okay. Sure. Plants in a grass block. That's that that about sums up how this is probably gonna go. But uh yeah, let's get started. So um Village, bales, so food, column, which I'll probably leave there. I'm trying to press control to zoom <laughs> with I and it's not working. Because Optifine doesn't work. Because there is no Optifine for this version. All right, let me just check that my control settings are correct. Okay, good, my sprint keys are. Lovely, let's get started. All right, so I'm just going to start like a normal survival world. Obviously, there's all sorts of different things that could be um, happening within the survival world. So it's just a question of 
know what we're going to see. For now, I guess we'll use the village's base camp. I do ultimate... Excuse you. <laughs> I do ultimately want to build a house. So, I mean, that will definitely be on my priority list. Um, and I want to try and use some of the new blocks. So... I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to use the new blocks yet, but I definitely want to try and use the new blocks because I feel like that will be a helpful or pretty cool. And that's kind of one of the points is I wanted to get a chance to explore and expose the latest snapshot. Um, obviously, it's still going to have bugs and quirks since it's only a snapshot mode. So, I mean, I'm not really expecting it to be perfect, but we'll see. All right, so right off the bat, you can look at some of the new ore textures, lots of copper. Um, there's some iron, coal, lots of copper. Lots of it. So that's there's some of the new ore textures. Um, I, I'm a pretty big fan of the new ore textures, I gotta say. Although, um, iron, uh, beet roots and stone, like, that that's what comes to mind when I see iron texture. Uh, the new iron texture to me just looks like beet root in stone, but I guess, you know, whatever. Um, okay, I see that in my render distance fog over there. All right, that's a start. All right, so I was hoping mm, I was hoping I would kind of stop lagging by the time we got this far into things, but I guess not. I'm still kind of framey. Um, let me just try to just graphics fast, smooth lighting off. Sync off. Let's put max frames at maybe like let's put it lower so that I'm at least running smooth. Particles off, clouds. Oh, okay. Done, done. Back in. There you go. I'm running lower frames, but at least I'm running smoothly. What I can deal with. I'm used to low frames. All right, so here's just some basic armor to get us started here. And let's go ahead and uh, open this, open this, uh, these chests and stuff and look around. All right, so we got a bed in there, which is good. More beds. Beds, there's a chest. Ah, nice bread. Okay. I also want to find a crafting table. Perfect. So... Wheat and one, two, three. There we go. There's quite a lot of bread and top it off. Nice. Okay. So I think that's pretty much good for checking out the village for now. So I think now. The plan is just to start playing survival. Let's explore. So I figure my house will be somewhere around here. Um, I want to stay close to the village. I think that just makes the most sense. Um, so let's see. Let's get some wood. And then... After we cut down this tree... We can make a pickaxe and some other tools, and we'll head down into that ravine, gather copper and coal and iron. Definitely then check out the desert temple over there, and hopefully we can find an entrance into some of the newer caves. I think over here is a good 
candidate for that. This is a sandstone cave. I don't think this goes anywhere. That other cave entrance looked pretty promising. Now, it all depends on how deep they go. Obviously, they can just be you know, little useless bombs, but... Um, I mean, no, this is just copper and... Oh, okay, but there's a... Nope. That's not what I wanted either. Okay. I was hoping there would be more to that, especially how big it is, but I don't know. I'm sure we can find some big caves somewhere. We could also just try digging down. I also need to eat food. All right, there we go, food. So, anyway, um, let's stop sidetracking about caves, because I know this is Caves and Cliff Snapshot, but... We do have our survival needs to take care of, so let's first take care of basic materials. So there is some exposed stone right over here. Why don't we go ahead and pick that up? Also some coal right here. So one, two, three. There's that. And let's make ourselves... A stone pick and grab this coal. No. All right. Coal, no. I like the coal texture. Coal texture looks good. Like I said already, I'm a fan of most of the textures except for maybe. Yep. Mm. I'm not even going to say except for. Like, honestly, they're all pretty good. Um, I mean, yeah, beetroot seeds in stone. Uh, but other than that, yeah. I mean, nothing to complain about. All right, this cave looks like it might end up somewhere or not. All right, well, it didn't end up anywhere special. Um, I don't know how much you guys can see. Let me make some torches so you guys can see down here. I have my brightness all the way up, but the game is just not... I don't know. Like, for me, I can see, but I'm watching my... Sh I have my stream pulled up. Um, you know, like the monitor. And it is, like, pitch black dark in here. Um... Copper looks fine. I mean, the, the texture matches by what I thought. The only thing with copper is that the texture doesn't have any, like, 3D depth to it. Like, the copper bits don't seem like they're indented. Where here, it looks like the iron is, like, set into the... Ow. It looks like the iron is kind of set into the um, ore a little bit. Which I kind of like that 3D aspect to the textures. I think that's pretty... The, um, it's different than what we're used to, but I appreciate it. Um, I also like the idea that they're changing the textures so that people who might not be able to see like exactly what ore they're mining can um, see based on just the look of the texture. I know, obviously, textures needed an overhaul, but I know there's definitely been talk that one of the reasons was because they wanted it to be differential on site, whether you could tell what color it is or not, which I think is pretty nice. All right, so let's gather our resources here. Um, once it gets to night, we'll just go sleep in the village, probably. I also want to go down into that ravine that we saw earlier, because there's a lot of resources down there. If you guys have any features you want me to try and check out throughout today's stream or through another survival stream in the same world, please let me know in chat. I'd be more than happy to uh, try and take a look at as many features as I can in survival mode. Um, so if you'd like to see a video going over all the new features and maybe more of a creative mode setting, then uh, let me know as well.
Um, okay, let's see. So I'm going to go the ravine is over here. Almost night, though, so I don't really want to push it too far. Okay. Spin. Push it too far and have it be late. Is this a water cave? Yes, it is. I don't know how far down this goes, though. Let's see. Not very far. There's laughs at surface now. That's interesting. Okay. All right, so let's go sleep. And then... Okay, so I have to go around the ravine. There's the other side of this thing. All right, there we go. our way over to village here and I know that one of these houses like right on the outside has a bed so let's go ahead and use excuse you <laughs> thank you let's use the bed also set our spawn point, not that we really needed to, considering we're already next to spawn. Quite a few mobs spawned. Alright, so let's just go... Oh, God. Okay, nice. Did we go down this cave already? Nope. This is more of what I want. All right, so let's go grab that ravine, the ravine resources, and then we can start cave diving down there. Alright, so let's work our way down here. And and get all of these resources. So the copper. I would like to try and build out of the copper. So So let's see, we got all of this stuff, and then let's go just grab it's a lot of copper, which I can't do anything with tools wise and whatever, so I'm not gonna collect a whole lot but i want enough that i could possibly use it for like building or whatever because i'd have to make blocks which obviously costs a lot just like iron blocks would cost a lot or whatever so there's some iron up there All right, there we go. So now let's go back down. And see, so that's some glow lichen. So those are pretty cool. I like those actually. I don't think you really can collect them, but I'm not sure. On all over caves and underwater and all sorts of places. They're basically just 
naturally occurring light sources for dark areas. So, all right, let's just grab some more. And then another pickaxe. All right, so I just want to basically gather my stuff. And I know right now we're not doing a whole lot with the new update, but we got to start somewhere. We take this with me. There we go. Huh. So there's a cave. All right. I think it's time to go down here. So let's do that. Let's see what we find. Some more coal. And we're definitely in a bigger cave system. So you can see the glow lichen, or lichen, or lichen, or however you say it. There's so many different ways circulating up there. Um, I mine it. What do I get? Nothing. Okay. All right. So let me put a torch down. And gather some resources, and then I think, just right here next to the glow stuff, we will uh, make our little home base. So let's just do this. And let's make this home base. So let's craft up a furnace, split that. Get more torches and then smelt iron. So that is smelting. Go down here and just see what's down here. Not much, just some iron right here. And there we go. There's that. And then... Nothing there. We already went down there. What did we... Is there anything down this way? No, so I think we're going to have to go back to that other cave system we were in before. But for now, let's just set up shop down here for a bit. And... Yeah, they're just basic resources. So, um, coal and the cobblestone. All right, so there's that. Let's craft stuff right here. And there we go. Okay. Nice and easy. And let's also go ahead and, whoa, oh wait, that was just the top. Okay, let's also go ahead and start crafting with iron. So for now, let's just do a boots and a sword, I think. That should be good for now. stick some torches and I need this all right so there's that and the bread and then let's gather our stuff here and let's go cave diving in the other cave system that we found so Let's get out of this cave system.
get out of this cave system. And... Let's... Up. All right, now that we're up here, let's All right, so let's then keep going. Village is over here. And the cave system, I'm just going to go straight to the cave system, and we're going to dive in. The cave system is right down here. And here we are. Okay, so I'm going to... Ah. I'm going to use my stone pick on the iron just to try and save the durability of my iron pick for now. Have to decide which way we want to go. I think just straight now is good. That seems to be a pretty big cave and relatively promising. So let's see. We also have to make it down to Y0 at some point because now we have the Brimstone Cave. I don't I don't know if you call it a biome or what, what you would call it, but we have the Grimstone Caves, which are from Y0 to Y negative 6. B4, 64. Okay. Yeah, so anyway. We need to make it down to Y0 at some point to check that out. And we still have to explore that desert temple. I hear villagers, so I assume we're just right under, yeah, we should be right underneath the village pretty much. All right, there we go. Hoping this would go further down, but it doesn't appear that it's going to, at least not in this direction. So I think we can turn back, start going another way. Oh, that's pretty much a dead end. I think eventually I'll get to the point where I just staircase down before let's go this way first so the torch down there first up down ourselves and then we can mine all of these resources here there we go and let's take a look around or iron. Iron right on copper. How much copper do I have? 41. Let's get to a stack. 42. 3, 44, 45, 6, 7, 8. Forty-eight, nine, fifty, one, two, 
three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, six, sixty, one, two, three, two more. All right, I say right about here. So right about here, we should just kind of staircase down. So. Let me see, I want to staircase this way. So let's start headed down to Y0 and see if we can reach a Grimstone Cave. Or just a cave system along the way. Either one works. Some dirt. Let's see. So we're getting relatively low on the Y values here. Down to 37. 36. 5. 4. 3. 2. All right. Down to Y30. Still just copper and... Right now, lots of diorite. Should be reaching Grimstone soon. Cave. How big is this cave? I'm lagging. So I'm wondering if that's because a large amount of terrain is being generated, or if because my computer just doesn't want to cooperate anymore not really sure let's put down a light source to replace that lava though your enderman so clearly there's got to be open areas nearby this goes down as well See where this goes. More iron. Getting a lot of iron. Iron. <laughs> it's not amazing. It's not horrible. It already gotten to the point where I'm ignoring iron. Ah. See, this is more along the lines of what I was looking for. I still want to go deeper though. It's dungeon. Don't shoot. Literally shoot. Yes, kill each other. Good move. Good move, skeleton. Kill each other. Good job. Ooh, looting too. Not bad. Um. Or food, I guess. All right, so there's a little skeleton dungeon. I don't want to destroy it. Ever want to, uh, you know, XP grind on this world in the future? You never know. So, um, I think this is going to be my new weekly Monday stream. It's going to be Caves and Cliffs. Okay, there's clearly a mine shaft up there, so definitely something we'll have to take a look at. I know they changed that design of overhangs in the mine shafts. And th those are pretty cool, the new designs. Definitely a fan of those. Let's see where else does this go? 
pretty much nowhere. I'm just going to place down some torches, get less spawn rates, and then we'll drop down here. And keep going down, I guess. I mean, let's see. What Y level are we at? Yeah. Oh, that's not how you exit the F3 menu. So we're pretty much down to Grimstone level. We're only about less than 10 blocks off at this point. So I'm assuming we'll get into the new caves. And that should be lots of exposed resources. Lots. So look how far are we down. We are at Y level 6. So let's staircase down to... Five, four, three, two, one, zero. We are at level zero. Brimstone. Okay, brimstone is relatively hard to mine, even though it's just technically more stone. True. Iron pickaxe. It's definitely slower than normal stone. Break it. Hoping we'd open up into grimstone caves as we got down here, but Never know. I guess we can mine around a little bit and see what we find here. So clearly when we get down to Grimstone level, not everything is Grimstone. There's some normal, like, stone and andesite and whatever mixed in. Nothing there. I was hoping for a cave, but at least... Alright, so we've made it to Grimstone level, and we made it pretty deep into Grimstone level. Um, we definitely need to set up, though, and get some more resources going. So, let's do that. Let's, um... Set up right here. Put down my crafting table. Two extra furnaces. And set those up. And let's just put that in there. That. Not in there with that. Not in there with that. But yeah, so while that iron smelts up, I am going to just do some AFK thing, I guess, real quick. But I will be right back, and when I am ready to come back, a countdown will show up on screen. So keep your eye out for the countdown. That will let you know when I'm about to start again. And yeah, so let's just jump right back into it. Um, so we got quite a lot of iron from that. So let us make a chest plate and leggings and a helmet. And then the rest of it, I will take with me. All right, there we go. So, oh, almost forgot the crafting table. And let's make some, let's make two extra pickaxes as well. Nope, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, cool, let's go. Nope. Okay, cool, let's go. All right, so we have quite a lot of resources. We also have some new Grimstone, which I want to stack of that, actually. So let's get some more of that. While we're down at Grimstone level, let's get some more Grimstone. All right, let's see. 
let's just go this way. I want at least a stack and a half because I want to use it as accent blocks for my house. All right, so there's a stack. Let's get another 32 blocks worth of it. So after that, I think the plan will be to try and explore the caves a little bit more and then start to head back up to surface. Um, from there, I don't really have plans. I think we've been live for quite a while now. Yeah, almost an hour. So um, I think we'll get close to closing the end of the stream and then probably later this week and then next week I will keep streaming this because um, this has been a blast. So I'm thinking maybe a weekly, weekly series. Um, now I'm, oh, wait, I hear spiders. Oh, all right, so here's the new redstone texture. Sweet. Like right on top of these spiders. Oh, we're so close. Oh. This is my own mind, yeah. Really close. Here's zombies now too. Getting much closer. They're like right through a block. Aha! Ooh! That was, all right. I mean, I got the grimstone I wanted, so that's cool. That was a lot of frantic mining to try and find that, though. All right, let's get rid of stuff we don't really need. So I don't need this. No, no, no. No. Yes. Yes. No. 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 Okay. Oh, wait. I can get rid of this. Grab this redstone. Redstone texture, not bad. I don't mind it. Hopefully, this will go somewhere. Really through there. 
All right, I'm going to turn subtitles off now. But I used those to find... So the, they were hidden underneath of my camera, which I just noticed now. But I had I turned on subtitles and used that to try and direct myself towards the mob noises. Oh, hi. This goes up, not down. But you never know. Some caves, you know, go up to down thing. Right, there we go. So I'm gonna collect this gold. And we shall keep going. But yeah, it appears. Here's this is kind of a dead end area, but at least we found Another little cave, I was hoping it would be more promising. Maybe it will be, though. I hear more mobs, which means there's more caves right around here. Aha, uh -huh, and it's a grimstone cave. Hello, friends. There we go. Grimstone caves unlocked. Right. Okay. So we've made it into Grimstone Cave. Eat. Some ore down there. It's not grimstone ore. We're not deep enough, really, for grimstone ore. Um, there's part of the new, like, flooded aspect of this. Let's quickly make more torches. All right, let's see. So let's kill you. <gasps> diamonds. So it looks like, although they said they were keeping diamond texture the same, I do believe they changed it slightly. But let's go over there and take a look. Um, I seriously... Those should be diamonds, right? Yep. Seems like they just gave them a little bit of... Let's light them up. A little bit of color correction and a little bit of more depth to the stone, just like everything else. Um, otherwise, I think they're pretty much the same. How many we got? Okay. It's open for maybe an extra, but that's fine. Um, we've also got the flooded areas here, so I can jump in here. And I should have made something like doors or whatever to breathe. I mean, it doesn't go diamonds. Take doors. Get out of here and let us put down a crafting table, make some doors, and let's go. Okay, so the door here, and swim into the door. Uh, 
All right, there we go, diamonds. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Okay, so we got some more diamonds right there. We can just go ahead and break this door and swim back out. So I think with that, it's pretty much time to wrap up the stream. I mean, we've definitely found some really awesome stuff. Um, and this is super exciting and really cool. I've had a lot of fun exploring caves and cliffs, and I can't wait to explore more. So, uh, yeah, next time we will, I will definitely do another stream, and I definitely would love to um, keep exploring this update. So next time I think the goal will be to make it out of this cave and to build a house and um, experiment with some of the new blocks. I want to try and use Grimstone in my builds. Uh, and I also want to try copper out as a building block. So yeah, um, until next time, hopefully you enjoyed, and uh, I will see you all next time. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.